It's important that electric vehicle drivers understand some basic steps before charging the vehicles, whether they're using AC or DC chargers. Before charging can begin, the vehicle must be in park. The vehicle will not allow the driver to shift out of park while plugged in and charging, so there's no concern that a driver could try to drive off while still plugged in. Now, let's locate the charge port doors. For the Ford F-150 Lightning Pro, it's in front of the driver's side door. To open it, press and release on the center right edge. Plug the coupler into the vehicle's charge port. The charge status indicator light ring will illuminate solid white when it's plugged in properly, and you'll hear it click into place. On the Ford E-Transit van, the charge port is in the front grille. To open it, press and release on the center right edge. The E-Transit van has a charge port dust cap. Remove it and hang it on the pin. For both vehicles, plug the coupler into the vehicle's charge port. You'll hear it click into place. When plugged in properly, these lights will illuminate. This means that the proper connection has been made and a normal charge cycle has begun. If you see an orange or amber light, this indicates a fault. If the light is flashing, there's an issue with the charger. If the light is solid, the issue is with the vehicle. The charge status indicator light helps track the charging status of your vehicle. Each of the five zones represents a 20% charge status. A pulsing light indicates the zone that's in the process of charging. When charging stops, all charge zones will remain lit solid blue for 30 seconds. To remove the charge coupler from the vehicle, first press the latch on the coupler, then unplug it from the vehicle. Return it to the holster. Then reinstall the E-Transit van charge port dust cap and close the charge port door by pressing the center right edge. When using a DC charger, you'll need to open this dust cap to expose the lower connectors. Then plug the charge coupler into the charge port on the vehicle. To disconnect, push the unlock button in the middle of the charge status indicator light ring. Then press the latch on the coupler and remove it from the port. If the button doesn't work, you can unlock it from your touchscreen. With the vehicle running, press Features, Access, then Unlock Charge Cord. If a driver ever runs out of charge while on the road, a vehicle that's equipped with available ProPower onboard that has a 240 volt connection can also be used as a mobile power source. Using a NEMA L1430P to L1450R adapter, plug the available Ford mobile charger into the ProPower onboard outlet. Then plug the coupler into the charge port on the vehicle that needs to be charged. Any questions? Go to FordPro.com select Charging, and click the Chat With Us button at the bottom right.